Okay, this one's for all you Robert Kiyosaki fans and Eric Worre fans. I'm going to just take a few minutes of this clip. I thought it was really awesome. I always love listening to Robert Kiyosaki and Eric Worre, and then I have them together with Robert's wife, Kim. But check this out. I'm going to I'm going to share this with you. My name is Michael Jensen, Daily Cash Team. My phone number is 352-286-8014. 352-286-8014. That's my cell phone number. That's my real cell phone number and my only cell phone number. The phone that I'm using right now and it's in my pocket. Call me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I'm not kidding. Check out this video. You'll love it. I'm here with a couple entrepreneurial legends Kim Kiyosaki how are you Robert Kiyosaki I done rich dad poor dad rich woman uh, how many books have you guys sold worldwide estimated well just rich dad poor dad alone is estimated legally produced there's a lot of pirated <laughs> copies 33 million 33 million books. seven years on New York Times bestseller list but who's counting yeah. who's counting no big deal Talk to people about why network marketing is such a good entrepreneurial decision. In the crazy landscape uh, that we deal with in today's economy. Well, as we know, there's fewer and fewer jobs. You know, American corporations say they're hiring. But they're not hiring in America, they're hiring overseas. But more than that is that the reason I endorse network marketing is most people are addicted to the paycheck. And the paycheck is one of the most sinister plots ever pulled upon a human being. If you need a paycheck, you've sold your soul. You know, you sold your body, your mind, your spirit, and your emotions. You sit there in fear of losing your job or can I get a raise or, you know, will I get promoted? I mean, and then, and then, why would you do that? Another thing about, we, we endorse network marketing. We don't think of it as a network marketing. We think of it as entrepreneur development. Because if you need a paycheck, this is not your business. You know, we build businesses. So sometimes when Kim and I do a deal, we, we may not receive a paycheck for five, six years. You know, and so these guys come, oh, am I going to get rich quick? You know, and some people do. I don't know if you do or not. But that is an employee, get rich, loser mindset. And so the thing that network marketing does is really kind of cure you of that loser paycheck, get rich quick mentality and actually build a business. You know, we build businesses. But, and that's how we're rich. But we didn't get rich quick. And I don't need a paycheck. I never want a paycheck. So that's kind of a revolutionary thought to most people up there who went to school to get good grades and get a job. You know, they get a high-paying job. And the, the higher-paying job, you, you pay higher taxes. And you wonder why you never get ahead. That's because you went to school to get a job and a paycheck. You've got to get away from the paycheck. And sometimes it might take two, three years to get away from that. And that's what network marketing teaches people. It's an entrepreneur's mindset. It's an entrepreneur's spirit, not a loser employee. I need a paycheck mentality. I love that. I love that. The fact of uh, the paycheck being evil. It's evil. Well, just look at the tax system. Just the people that have, pay, have paychecks pay the highest taxes. Now, why would you do that? Well, if you had a little financial education, you had a business, the tax laws swing to your favor immediately. You, if you, you, have, you have a full-time job, we're not saying quit your job. Keep a full-time job, you know, then start a part-time business, and then call your accountant. Because the moment you start a part-time business, the tax laws shift to your favor. So all of these guys who are crying the blues, I'm paying too much in taxes because you're a loser. You're working for a paycheck. Get it? You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want a paycheck. What you want is passive income, you know? You want income that comes from assets, not from labor. It's a very different mindset. What I want to say there is he, what he's talking about is being a loser. He's not, he's not insulting people that have a paycheck and a job. What he's saying is you lose. You lose your time. You lose your freedom. You lose your time with your family. You lose your time to be able to go out and enjoy life. You're so busy working a job. Uh, I, when, I, when I hear him saying you're a loser, what I hear is, 
you're you're losing your life. You're losing many, many years working for somebody else, building their business, building their empire. You're losing your time with your kids. You're losing your time with your family on the holidays or the get-togethers, the family parties, the 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 social uh, part of your life because people, a lot of people don't even have a social life. It's all about work, 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 work. They don't even know their own children because they're working all the time. Uh, when I hear he's saying loser, don't take that as an insult. I don't see that as an insult. I think it's just people are programmed through school and through education system and through our society and our country and the government to just be a slave to a paycheck. That's what he's talking about. You lose your freedom. You lose your... You lose your, you, a lot of people lose their passion because they're, they're, they're just working and working and working. They don't have passion for anything anymore. So, so if you want to get rich quick... That's a bad mindset. Yeah. You know, you know, terrible the, the mindset. The thing, too, about that entrepreneurial mindset is because I see a lot of people and their they're, they're comment is, I don't, have en- I don't have any money. I can't do this because I don't have money. I can't invest because I don't have any money. I can't build a business because I don't have any money. Yet, by not having money, because when we started out, we, we, we started out. Oh, I was down 820000 yeah. bucks. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money to most people. My friend Donald Trump was down a billion didn't stop us we yeah, just keep going that's, and that's you know? the point we we didn't have money to start with we didn't have money to invest but it didn't stop us and we kept figuring it out and because of that <laughs> it made us smarter it made us more creative we had to figure out how to get the money we had to figure out how to sell ourselves and and sell our ideas i mean not having the money actually was a benefit but so many people are afraid of not having money that they don't take that, that step. And this, and the- what they're saying here is uh and i heard it in another video is uh And I've heard it by another person uh, on my team. JJ was talking about if you're hungry. People who are hungry and they want it so bad that they don't stop, they don't quit, they don't get discouraged, they do something daily, even if it's something small for 15, 20 minutes. They they are so hungry for freedom. They are so hungry to fire their their boss. They're so hungry to quit their job. They're so hungry to have freedom. They want it so bad that they do not stop. They do not quit. They do not, uh, when people criticize them, their family, their friends, when people roll their eyes, whatever, oh, you're just one of them MLM, network marketing people, whatever, uh, don't let them get you down. They're just trying to drag you down to be like them, working for a paycheck. Do you want to um, build a business that you might not get paid for a long time and then in the future you wouldn't have to work at all because you have residual income or passive income coming in because you've had leverage and you've you've leveraged uh, a team or you've leveraged your time, you've leveraged your business you, and your skills and you've, you've, you've got leverage working for you so much that that's how the rich get rich is from leverage. It's the people that have the hunger and the desire and the passion. I, I talk about it in my videos and I've been saying it for several years. A burning desire. You got to have a burning desire and you got to have passion and you got to be excited about the products or the company or just, just, I'm just excited that I can help somebody to get free not necessarily sell them a product or get them in my opportunity just teaching and showing people there's a better way there's a not necessarily an easier way but there's a there's a freer a more free way to live life without punching a time clock there is it's 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 incredible how um one person me or anybody else can impact impact hundreds or thousands of other people and get them excited. People feel passion and they hear it in my voice. They, they, they can tell I'm enjoying what I'm doing. They can tell I, I have passion about marketing and ministry and being a daddy, being a father, being a parent. Uh, those, are the, those are the most important things in my life. My beliefs, my Christianity, my relationship with Christ, my son, and marketing. I just love, love helping and teaching people and sharing what I've been learned over the years. And I'm looking for the hungry ones, the ones that will not stop, the ones that will do whatever it takes to get whatever they want. If they want it bad enough, they'll do it. And I've thrown my hands up and quit for a few days or quit for a couple weeks or whatever, but I always go back to it. Why? Because it's in me. It's in my blood. It's in my personality. It's, it's what I've done for so many years, 21 years. Uh, 20 years, 21 years of learning business and online marketing and computers and websites and advertising. And it's so much in me, I cannot shut up about it because it's part of me, just like my faith. 
just like my, my son. He's so much a part of my life. I blab about him wherever I go. I'm just being myself in my videos. I'm, 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 I'm the same way in person or at the store or at church or in a mall or driving down the road. I'm always thinking about God. I'm always thinking about my son. I'm always thinking about marketing and helping people. And, and I, when I meet people, I like to ask them, what do you do in your free time? What are your passions? What are your gifts? What are you good at? And, and so many people say, oh, I'm not good at nothing. That's a lie. Everybody has gifts and talents, and they have something they're good at. God gave everybody gifts. Every single person has something they're good at. And it's probably something that I'm not good at at all. Those are the good people. Those are good people that I like to connect with because if I stink at something, if I suck at doing something, I want to connect with people that know how to do other things that I don't know how to do. And then that makes a good team. When I don't know how to do things, I know people that do. When they don't know how to do things, maybe I know I know how to do it or I know somebody else that knows how to do it and we team up together. I don't have to be a lawyer. I don't have to be a doctor. I don't have to be a scientist. I don't have to be um, all these things and all these different hats, but I just have to be able to afford or know these people and connect with them. I can afford a doctor. I don't have to have a doctor degree. I can afford a good lawyer if I have the right money, if I have the right connections, if I do my research to find out if the people are good surgeons or good doctors or good lawyers. I don't have to be an accountant. I just have to be able to afford a good one. Very skills it takes to be a great entrepreneur is required in network marketing. You've got, you start with nothing. You're asking people to work for no paycheck and you have to build a business. Your hardest task in network marketing is taking that loser and need a paycheck mentality and transforming it. If you can do that, you'll be successful. I'm not saying it's easy, but that is your job. And the reason Kim and I endorse network marketing is because unemployment keeps going through the roof, wages keep coming down, and we keep saying to our kids, go to school, get a paycheck. I mean, we're, we're killing our kids that way. We're killing their spirit. You need a paycheck. Every time you take a paycheck, you sell your soul, you sell your mind, you sell your emotions, you sell your body. And your time. And your time. Well, same thing. But anyway, that's why we endorse it. And for America to go back to prosperity or the world to go back to prosperity, we need more entrepreneurs. We don't need any more employees. Get it? You actually, you actually sell your freedom. Yeah. You sell your freedom. When yeah, that's the biggest part. That people that talk about paycheck. financial freedom. They don't know what it's like to not need a paycheck. The moment you don't need a paycheck, you're free. And that's people say, well, what if you lose everything? Well, we didn't have anything to start. We can make it back again. It's about the skills, isn't it? Because it's like, skills. Like you say, it's, it's, it's not about having resources no. or money or investment to start. It's about being resourceful. It's about right. you find a way. As an entrepreneur, you find a way. You don't have enough money to, to get your inventory. You find a way. You, you solve. Yeah, what he's talking about is they were hungry enough. They wanted it bad enough. They had nothing to lose because they had nothing. They were so hungry for freedom. They were so hungry to be financially free or uh, have time freedom, to be free from anybody, you know, a time clock. And if people are hungry, if they want it bad enough, whatever it is, I don't care if it's a cookie in the cookie jar, I don't care if it's money, I don't care, whatever it is that people want. If they want it bad enough, if they want freedom bad enough, if they want... Whatever it is, if they want to go somewhere bad enough, they will make a way. They will be creative. They will be a problem solver. They will be resourceful, just like he's talking about. They will figure out a way. And it happens with me all the time. I don't know how, I don't know how certain things happen sometimes. And there's a lot of times I, I roll my, I, I want to pull my hair out because I don't know how it's going to happen. But I don't quit. I don't stop. Praise the Lord. That's perseverance, endurance. You know, you got to be strong. You got to just, I don't care what it takes. And I don't care who says what, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep learning. You have to learn. Learn, change, and grow. I tell my son that all the time. God tells me that all the time. Learn, change, and grow. Without learning, changing, and growing, we go nowhere. We just get, we just fall asleep and we just get old and, and nothing happens. And we sit on the recliner and watch life go by and watch other people live their lives on a television. That's not life. That's not living. That's existing. That's breathing that problem you don't have this or that you just find a way that like when you're 800,000 in debt you found a way when Donald Trump was a billion dollars in debt he found a way right, you know right. it's um, the skills it's the confidence it's the self-assuredness um, all of that 
So it, it's just really kind of cracks me up. I mean, it's not funny, but it's kind of cruel, but it's also funny. You know, you go, why would you sell your soul for a paycheck when you go pay tax? <laughs> Does it make sense? If you build a business, you make more money and don't pay tax, but it takes time. And once you have it, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn how to build a business, you're not afraid of losing the business anymore. Because if you take it away, you, you'll do it again. It's like with a bicycle, you fall down, get back up. But people have never fallen down, never rode a bicycle, never learned to walk. You're always afraid of losing that paycheck. And that's your soul. And another thing I thought of when I was listening to this is, I have put all my eggs in one basket. I have put all my videos on one channel. I have relied on one company or one product or one opportunity, and then the bottom falls out. But praise the Lord, I'm glad that happened because it teaches you not to put all your eggs in one basket. It teaches you how to do it over again. It just makes me mad at myself that I, that I was dumb enough or foolish enough to put all my videos on one channel and not have many channels because if it gets shut down, then all my videos go and then my income stops or one opportunity. I'm not married to any particular company or product or opportunity. By putting all my eggs in one basket several times through my life, of my marketing life, I learned. I don't do it again. The pain causes you to learn. And you, you just automatically just don't even want to do that. You don't even want to go there anymore. And you just start, you just start putting your uh, time and your energy and your, your money and your, your advertising in different resources so that if one of them shuts down, it's not a big deal. If you got one traffic source or one lead source or whatever, one, one income source and it shuts down, no big deal. You got three or four or five other ones. That's what he's talking about. A soul. Yeah. So one, working together is amazing. Uh, two, with what's going on in the world, working for a paycheck is is uh, it's insane. Is is a bad game. It's a bad. It's an decision. old idea. It's an old old idea. The I, you know, employees are industrial age ideas. And I wrote that book. This is the twenty first century. This is the twenty first century. Is your entrepreneurs? You build business, and you work for passive income, not you know. What do you call that? Paycheck income. Paycheck income. Yeah, we got to come up with some nasty name for that. You know, it's called it's called ordinary income. Ordinary. There are three kinds of income: ordinary, portfolio, and passive. And employees work for ordinary. When you save money, that's ordinary income. When you invest in a four hundred one k, it's ordinary income. You're the biggest losers. I mean, they teach you to be the biggest losers. Go to school, get a job, work hard for ordinary income, save money, ordinary income, and invest in a four hundred one k. Ordinary income. You got to be nuts. And, and when and when you're building a your network marketing business, you are working for passive income because you're. And, and once I got that idea of getting, changing my mindset from focusing on ordinary income on my the paycheck and income coming in from from work to passive income, that made all the difference. And the government gives you tax incentives for passive income because you're doing what the government wants you to do, like provide jobs and we build houses and we also invest in oil wells. We need oil. But if you put your money in a savings account and a 401k, they tax you. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you say to kid, go to school? Work hard, save money, and invest in a 401k. I guess tax the debt. Before, well, before we turn the cameras on, you were talking about people going back to school. Yeah. The, the, the huge rise in, uh, in, in college debt. Well, let me show you these charts, okay? This is a chart called Sally Mae. Sally Mae is like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and all this other stuff. But Sally Mae shows the cost uh, of college debt is going up. It's now over a trillion dollars. College debt is worse than credit card debt. And I'll, I won't go into why, but co but college debt is now higher than credit card debt. But worst of all, when you look at this next chart, you'll see wages of college graduates are going down. That's pretty cruel. So these kids, the parents are saying to the kid, go back to school. If the parents go back to school, they get deeper in debt, and their wages go down. And this next chart is even more disturbing, which you'll see. And, and, and again, what he's saying is not, he's not saying education is bad. It's the type of education you're getting. If you're not getting financial education, if you're not getting education on how to build a business, how to work for yourself, how to make money, which is what they don't teach in school, in the school system, in the public school system, they don't teach you how to make money and how to be an entrepreneur and how to build a business and how to be the CEO or be the franchise owner or, or create your own franchise. They don't teach you how to be free. They teach you how to be a part of their system, to be an employee. 
And I see it as being a slave, being a slave to a paycheck, being a slave to a time clock, being a slave to a, a manager or a boss. And, and I'm not against education. It's just the education I got in school does not even compare to the education I got as soon as I graduated high school. After I dropped out and went back and got my diploma, I just did, I just did it for the challenge. It's the same reason I joined the Marine Corps. I joined it for the challenge. Just so I can prove to myself and to other people and to feel good about something that I did. And I, I was shocked myself that I graduated the Marine Corps boot camp. But it was the challenge. If you're going to college, and I've told, and I've, I, was, I was talking to a college student and I said, if you're going for the challenge because you want to do it and you want to learn certain things or you're doing it for the challenge just to see if you can do it, then do it. But if you're doing it for a piece of paper that, that you're thinking and you're believing what they say, that you're going to have a great paying job and you're going, to have, you're going to be rich because of a piece of paper or a diploma or a doctorate or a bachelor's or whatever, that's the wrong reason. It's just a piece of paper. If you don't have skills, I don't care if you have a piece of paper or a diploma or a degree or not. If you don't have any skills at anything or at something, you're not going to make it. See, here's a chart of what's happening to the middle class. Middle class income is going this way, not this way. And then the last chart, well, the second to last chart is this. This is the chart of working poor. So where are the, where's the middle class going? They're now in the working poor. And this is food stamp usage. Over the years, food stamp usage keeps going up. These people are good people, hard working. The trouble is they don't make enough money to survive. Now, the good news is they're perfect candidates for network marketing. You know, stuff like this. But you look at what's going on in America, so people are on food stamps now. Or you can just go in entitlement program and pay no tax at all, and that's going up also. So we're, America's in a mess. But the biggest threat, I think, coming up is Social Security. As for guys my age, look at Social Security. It's now bankrupt. It is today bankrupt. And many people say, oh, I'm going to count on Social Security. I said, you may as well count on the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. You know what I mean? You've got to wake up. And so this is the very last chart. This is the national debt of America. You know, it just keeps going up. So if you're going to school, getting a job, working hard, saving money, counting on 401k, Social Security, I think the government's going to take care of you. You may as well bet on Santa Claus. <laughs> My name is Michael Jensen. Call me. Connect with me. 352-286-8014. Leave a kind comment underneath this video. And read the video description, 352-286-8014. I am Daily Cash Team, Michael Jensen. I'm here for you. Connect with me. Maybe you can help me, maybe I can help you. That's what's awesome about network marketing. We network, and it's about relationships. Creating friends all over the place, all over the world. Using social media. Connecting. Giving value to each other. Show me some of the skills and some of the things you've learned over the years to teach me. And I love teaching people too. And I don't, I don't know everything at all. I'll be the first one to tell you that. I love learning and I learn every day. And I have a lot of mentors and coaches and teachers. But I love being a teacher too. And I love being a mentor and a coach. There's always somebody we can help and there's always somebody that is helping us. So just get out there and bless somebody. And be a blessing. And I get blessed all the time by, by the Lord and and. He puts so many good people in my life and I meet so many beautiful people on the phone calls that people call me and they get on my team or even if they're not on my team, I just, I, lo I love meeting new friends. I'm a social butterfly. So call me, text me. Thanks. Bye-bye.